Hey, hi all. Welcome back to BRR Knowledge Center. So in this session, we'll see like how to apply bootstrap styles to your uh, tree view structure, hierarchical parent and uh, chain nodes, and how to uh, attach the expand and collapse events as part of uh, uh, parent and child expand and collapse process. So in the earlier session, we have seen the basic tree view hierarchical structure construction using the unordered list and list items and a little bit style sheets so where it is uh, uh you know constructing a tree structured format now we will see like how to display collapse and expand but then as well as the collapse and expand uh you know uh, process with uh, bootstrap events so if you can uh, look at the overall uh, output which we are going to see here uh, in the session was this one like i'm going to uh, showcase the uh, minus and plus buttons here for the expand and collapse and vertical uh, lines uh, to showcase the you know the uh, kind of uh, levels uh, like the level one level two level three which easily can recognize like the jail nodes belonging to which parent node and which parent node is having uh, how many jail nodes kind of stuff here so let's quickly get into the radical session here and this is what the earlier we have uh, uh, created in the previous uh, I don't know, session. And the part one, we have just constructed tree view structure with vertical lines. We have not added any icons as part of collapse and expand, and we have not applied any bootstrap events with them. Let's go back to the um, uh, file we have uh, uh, created for HTML. Uh, this is what the file we have created. And uh, this is what the you no know, structure we have created using and uh, so uh, ul and uh, la uh, HTML tags and these are the styles we have applied so now what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, apply uh, relevant classes to the uh, nodes uh, to uh, display the hierarchical structure with the collapse and expand button for this what i'm trying to do is i need to hide all the items first uh, like the style display and none so this is going to uh, hide my node so i'll apply all these uh node i'll apply this for all nodes uh chain and parent nodes and other root level nodes for uh, in the same and okay so that's this one and this one and here and we'll go back to my HTML and see like how it is displaying. So but by default the period nodes are displaying departments and sections. That's why it is displaying let me check the HTML part here. And okay. Of its position, let me see and see. Okay, this is how it is this thing here. And go back to your HTML. No, I wanted to apply a bootstrap class for the parent nodes here. If you look at here, uh, <coughs> this is the format parent node. Under that, this is the first parent here, and this is not having any no sub nodes. Uh, I think department one is having a department one one and department one one again having department one one. So this department one is actually having this one and this is having sub nodes, right? So for this, we need to apply a class here called a branch so that it will recognize this is a branch for below nodes. So I'm going to add branch class here and the same class I'm adding it for other classes here if you look at here this is also my branch here to showcase these three nodes and that's it for departments and coming to here I have a section one one so this is class branch and this is class branch now going back to my uh, HTML and see everything. So now 
nothing. So again, go back to my HTML. Now we need to add a bootstrap function here to attach the events to the uh, tree. So if you look at here, this is the main class for me, UL an order list ID is tree one. So I'm going to write a function language. Use type and text of JavaScript. And here I'm going to read uh, tree one. And I need to call a bootstrap called tree, which will uh, invoke the inbuilt function of bootstrap extension. So tree one, and I'm now uh, calling this method. Uh, from the object so that it will apply this now changes to this uh, to showcase further what is happening in this uh, style part. Okay, so let me go back to uh, the scripts here, which I'm adding here. I already added uh, jQuery CJS file here and Bootstrap and me file. These two JS files are required to uh, apply the or attach the events of bootstrap to the you know the another list object so once you add this stuff down here so we have a function called tree function that i already copied into uh, my notepad file i'll just copy that file exactly here this is the function so I'm pasting this function. If you look at this function, extend, right? And this extend is inside we have treat function, right? Treat function is accepting a parameter, one parameter. If that parameter is not provided, it comes to here directly and it will, you know, apply the glyph icon class, okay? So this glyph icon uh, is a icon which is providing by bootstrap in different ways. One is a plus and minus. These are the open and closed classes. So I'm just adding two different variables. And those variables I'm applying to my, you know, icon for the LI items as uh, toggle flaws based on the clip on branch, okay? So th this is where I'm getting branch. And for the branch click, I'm adding this toggle uh, classes and toggle class. Okay, so now let me check this. Go to my HTML and refresh it. Now, if you look at here, by default, that function is calling here. So, if you look at my JS, I mean the uh, script file, by default, I just mentioned it's an independent uh, line of statement here. It is including and it is calling three ones in here. And coming here and it is applying the uh, open and close class here. That's why by default it was expanded. Okay, when I collapse it, it is again showcase the plus icon here. Okay, when I expand it, it is expanding plus department one and department two. And if the department one, when I expand it, it is coming this way. This department one 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 having department one 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 and one 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 two and one 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 three. So this is the collapse and expand button for this, and this expand and collapse button. This is expand and collapse button. I think something just showing bigger font. I'm getting to my height something in this dot. So this diagram it should be line not left. We can check now and expand and collapse at the same Wow. So by default, it is coming to grab life icon plus. And when I click on expand, it is expanding the trail modes. Okay. That's how it is working. So to do this, what we did was we just added a bootstrap class here, a bootstrap function we have copied. This one, and we are just calling along with our tree object of another list, and it is applying this class, uh, you know, uh, this function applying to here. Okay, so now uh, 
look at other aspects uh, other than this. So what are the other classes we can um, apply it for your parent and child notes? That means as of now, uh, we are only seeing uh, this icon, right? So life icon. Now I wanted to apply other icons. So if you wanted to apply other icons, then you need to call same function by pausing parameter. And that parameter will take care of here. Okay. Going back to here, top bottom, and just uh, command this and copy this function and paste it here. You can specify whatever class you want it to be part of this, and that's going to be applied to your you no know, uh, an order list. Let us say like uh, here, the variable I have been declared here was open class, right? I'll take this, I'll paste it, open class, and I'm, apply, I'm, I'm, I'm assigning a class called here, if I call, now folder open, input of plus, right? And again, close the class, I'm specifying, if I can, folder close and this so when I save and let me check there something which is messy here okay wow save here go back to your this thing and just refresh it now you will see a folder icon is coming in in place of plus here. So it's all about the CSS you are applying it and those CSS are available in Bootstrap and you just take the CSS and apply it. And also go back to your code and if you want to apply other kind of styles you can apply it. I'm just commenting this in place of folder. I'm applying other class for Chavara. Let us see how it is applying to my tree. Mm. Is it having or not? I'm not sure. Check this. Only thing we have. There are different classes with this envelope. Which thing? These are different different classes. We can do with it. Uh, I think I'm trying. Mm, class which is my. Okay, this we have already used. Right, one plus sign and minus sign. Yeah, this is what shall run, right? I think uh, I need something. I think the left pressure right will be used it. Right, go back to my tree. Think that's, this is how it is coming. So these are all the classes you can apply to your tree view if you want it. And if you want it, uh, any other icons as part of um, parent or child mode, you can apply using this uh, different classes in the board style. Okay. Okay, if you want to try any other thing else, uh, let me try. I think it's already tried, and let me try. I think, um, um anything else forward, fast forward, and plus minus, and remove sign. Okay, question and 
Yeah, all other icons are different except these two folder, or, I mean, whatever we have used, char one and folder and plus and minus. Mm, anything you can use it, but no issues in that. Mm, what else we can? What are all the other possibilities for tree explain and collapse? I think that we will save and open. This is copy and paste and and this is angle also you can use if I want to apply this instead of German triangle. Let's save this and go back to here and think of this triangle, life and plan triangle, right? Let's show what it did. Like we can try over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right and left. Ooh, what I did, let me try. Right, left. Mm -hmm. Look like is it not working here? Like I can try and right. It's okay. Mm. And let me try menu. And this is this. Let's try menu. Let's see. Uh, how it is working? No. What happened? Mm, that's okay, I think we'll go with the folder only. It seems uh, some icons are not working. I think oh. that's something different here. No, I think we're missing something. Why we can't folder right? No, no. Mm. Okay. I think folder must be open and close, right? Okay. Just comment this and if we can open this. I think we have not used the open and uh, close. We just use right and left, which is not uh, matching to the folder, right? So this is how it is uh, showing here, and this is how we need to uh, give the events to the bootstrap uh, class uh, for this function. And if you don't want anything, just leave it with this. This will take care of the default option, which we have already provided here. And if you wanted to pass that, we can pass it here. Uh, but we have given here the default uh, style. If, if nothing is passing here, it is taking this, otherwise it is taking from this object. Okay, so this is our, all about uh, creating a tree view hierarchical structure with the parent and node and collapse and expand actions with the bootstrap. I hope you understand the uh, kind of uh, uh, bootstrap uh, plugin to create a uh, tree using the bootstrap uh, CSS and bootstrap JS file along with the jQuery plugin. So uh, these three are the plugins you need to give it in the reference of your HTML file, last CSS of Bootstrap and jQuery base and Bootstrap CSS, and some of the you know inline CSS like your yeah, style equal to none. In this case, uh, another list and um, list items, and some of the you know uh, inline in intrinsic styles we are giving here, um, not an external CSS file we are using it. If you want, you can move this to a different file and you can put the difference here and like you given bootstrap uh, CSS file. So that's how it is building bootstrap key and uh, you can change the nodes, uh, names uh, and you can build this entire structure using uh, now dynamic logic where you can specify the node names uh, instead of departments and sections. That's how it is executing and rendering in the browser. Thanks for listening to this video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel for uh, more videos. Thank you.